Hey guys, it's your boy we back with more Marvel Future Fight content and we have the update details for the Black Swan update for Marvel Future Fight and let's see what we have in the house. This CM fragment of Marvel Future Fight, a new supervillain rises to defend her fellow Black Order as many other powerful heroes return to Marvel Future Fight. We introduce the March update in the celebration of the edition of the Black Swan. Let's see what we have. I'm not gonna go through all of this. Let's just see. Our new hero, so she is the native tier 3, the new one that we have in the game. Uh, also, she is the world boss legend plus that is the lame name <laughs> like that is literally the best they could come up with seriously even super world boss sounds better than that come on so okay let's just see black swan black order we have speed super villain alien female i'm not sure why the alien and female are just cut out even the translation is bad i don't know so she could be a replacement for uh, i suppose mystique although i don't think that uh, at tier 3 she's going to be able to beat uh, Mystique, maybe if she gets a tier 4 in the uh, later down the line, we might see a change. So this is kind of <laughs> like it like is it just me or it looks like incredibly bad uh with with all the typo errors or whatever i'm not sure what exactly is actually happening right now so anyways we uh the way you acquire her is going to be from the world boss legend just like mephisto null kang everyone else the leadership is all allies when debuff removal debuffs very basic tier 2 passive is 5% additional pierce damage increase and basic damage received by 40% also whenever your hp is below 40% ignore basic Basic. <laughs> Come on. It's like a, it's like a photocopy or printout, a bad printout or something. Ignore basic damage for 7 seconds. Increase basic damage for 10% of every basic damage that's ignored. So it's a different type of accumulation. It's not attacking or something. It's the more you ignore the enemy's attack is uh, you will probably get more attack. That's how it works. And decrease all basic damage received by 10%, accumulation up to 60%, which is good. Passive, uh, the 4-star passive looks like 50% chance to penetrate super armor, barrier, shield, all damage immune, invincible as well. So he has, she does have native penetration. Super armor, increase all basic defense by 50% and 45 and 45% bonus and skill damage increase, which is pretty good. Active first skill is actually stun, uh, just applies just that. Second skill is pretty good, also has the ignore targeting and counter attack which most of the characters have these days it's actually very useful for pvp as well so i guess she might just be totally pvp worthwhile she has burned she has stunned she has uh, active buff from target i think it's similar to thanos's one but a bit different because she uh, he has all uh debuff i guess 100 percent chance to grant immunity for immunity for four seconds targets uh, ignore targeting for three seconds it's different from the other one by the way the ignore targeting in the uh in the orange text the third skill has burn incapacitation stun uh, 25 percent of hp recovery and a 1.3 percent accumulation uh, why not just 1.4 <laughs> or something like that? Four skill has burn, fracture, incapacitation, paralyze, invincibility for five seconds, barrier, invincibility plus barrier. This is probably the first time a character actually has both of these uh, buffs on the same skill. With That's quite unique. The fifth skill is burn, stun, paralyze, and blah, blah, blah. We also have this attack and defense frenzy buff 65%. So she does have the cancels. So I believe that if she gets a tier four or something with mid-month patch or something, something she might be able to replace mystique from the speed villain meta but not for now she's just gonna be a native tier 3 character we will see three new uniforms and uniform improvements okay uniform improvement new uniform skills are based on blah 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 uh we also have the uniform improvement for i suppose they said the thanos one we will see about that so this is the new thanos wins uniform universal super villain the cost will be again 1500 they are going crazy with the native characters uh now alien male destruction he keeps all of that he now gets extra five percent uh, pierce damage from the uh, from the passive uniform passive which is great uh, also whenever your hp goes below 30 percent i suppose the that thing actually remains the same you get 70 percent max hp back ultimate skill they maybe the skill animation in the live stream was about the same so i don't think there's going to be any more changes to this thing maybe they might have improved slightly but i don't see big like much big of a difference from the old tier uh old tier 3 skill but we will see about that how that goes leadership also is slightly changed i suppose 
uh, before he were giving 50% and then debuff uh, he's still giving that so I'm not sure it still look like looks like it's gonna be the 50% attack so I don't see a big difference in terms of the leadership skill same probably now uniform tier 2 passive has changed a bit actually so increased damage dealt with target with removal debuffs by 80% uh, also debuff removal target instinct effect also by 80% and extra attack so maybe it might help you slightly extra dealing damage I don't think it's gonna be a bigger but we will see about that uh, the hero passive the hero slayer passive four star passive super armor all basic defenses by 50% also this is the new one I suppose I'm not sure if we already had it uh, correct me if we already had it 30% extra damage to uh, hero type so yeah it looks like totally pvp inclined Whenever you are hit, recovery 20% of HP every uh, 2 seconds. So this is a big one. The old Thanos uniform did not have it. So I think this might just make him uh, insane. The first skill now uh, also has the ignore targeting. Uh, like before it used to be the fourth skill. But now with this uniform, the first skill is going to be the ignore targeting uniform. Uh, ignore targeting skill. Probably on a 8 second cooldown, I suppose. So you can use it every 4 seconds. So he's going to be very good at one-shotting characters probably. Recovery rate of 25% increase. Uh, I'm not sure how much chance is that it's at zero percent so I'm not sure how much chance is that to penetrate everything it's so rusty right now removal diva for two seconds second skill has burn stun and some damage third skill has burn paralyze uh, we have a 45 percent attack and defense frenzy buff also five seconds of damage immunity Fourth skill actually now has time freezing, which is pretty nice. Burn incapacitation, 50% of all attack buff. I suppose it is 50%. Uh, where is it? It's 60%. 60% <laughs> of attack buff. Uh, and the fifth skill has stun, fracture, <coughs> incapacitation, invincibility, 53 seconds? <laughs> Three se <coughs> Either it's five seconds or three seconds. I think it's three seconds. Uh, <laughs> immunity do all debuff for three seconds excluding bosses and blah 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 so yeah a bit rusty but the uniform looks to be totally pvp inclined i don't see any pve value i suppose uh, then we have the angel fallen one like really uh, i don't know there was totally a surprise why angel mutant male order when debuffed remove all debuffs uh, from all allies so it's gonna work out like that 50% of the recovery rate dodge rate increase by 30% honestly it's not really a good leadership I don't know why they keep giving characters like this so anyways critical rate on the tier 2 passive guaranteed dodge rate and 50% attack uh, bonus damage and skill damage increase total increased uh, it targets dodge rate increase by Ignore target dodge rate by 30%. Super armor and some more defenses. Stun on the first skill. Burn, fracture, paralyze on the second skill. Bleed, stun, incapacitation and 1% of damage accumulation when attacking. Also 100% chance to get immunity for 5 seconds. Uh, the fourth skill has burn, paralyze, recovery rate and then invincibility for 5 seconds and a proc of 100% on that skill. The fifth skill has silence, incapacitation, 35% recovery HP, 60% I suppose the 50 percent buff that we're getting for attack and defense frenzy no counter attack no ignore targeting nothing at all so i don't know i don't get the point of why they're doing this also this is going to be a full cost 1750 crystal uniform for the april fools i don't see the value probably alliance conquest player will probably get this thing to help them out but i I don't know unless he like crazy surprises us it doesn't look that that good satana is gonna be the paywall uniform clever mischief token that we are getting universal superhero she remains human female justice now uniform effect all damage elemental damage support for 35 percent jean is gonna be insane uh with her on the uh female day Alliance Battle Legend and she's gonna help out other characters as well. So this is a pretty good passive, 35% and she remains with the 70% fire damage. Now I would have loved if the 70% was like 75 or maybe 80%. She already is very OP, especially for some characters like Jean Grey on the Alliance Battle Legend day and something else. And the, the elemental damage is just gonna push Jean over the edge. So Jean Grey gets another buffed again with this update and Satan uniform I guess is gonna 
going to be totally worthwhile even when they raise cap because i think she might be the only character that stays in as the leadership for jean gray for the alliance battle legend day she might replace other characters we will see later down the line uh, increase chain damage for herself for 10% ignore target dodge rate i think other things are not going to be that important because she's going to be as a transcended or suppose character i suppose so it's not going to be that uh, crazy or something she has fire damage she does have fire damage she also has i suppose they did say she has mind damage on some of the, some of the skill but it looks like she has only uh fire damage on her kit which is good fifth skill is v pad it will be nice to have fun with world boss legend or something just to see what she can do but the main use probably is going to be alliance battle legend for the universal female gene alliance battle legend day to make her even more invincible as the meta which is insane certain skills of thanos wise harvester has been improved so they've improved the third skill the hit count has been increased on the third skill for the wise harvester uniform so that uniform is going to perform slightly slightly better in pve content and the reason honestly the way and the reason why they are actually making this uniform stronger so that people have a reason to purchase that uniform when it comes back uh, on the sale uh, in a few months i suppose that's that's only going to be the only reason and they want people to purchase that uniform but i'm not sure if you would purchase that uniform apart from world boss legend but some people do like to push like ex extremely high stage of world boss legend with like brilliant uh, pv ctps on thanos so probably that's how it actually going to be also the buff frenzy buff that we're getting for 25% is now increased to 45% so whoever have the thanos uh, harvester uniform like me they got a buff thank you so much now the fourth skill also has been buffed the hit count has been increased it will be nice to see how much he can score in lines battle legend now with this uniform although he will not be able to beat loki but we will see about that and then yeah it looks pretty nice and they also buffed the hit count on the fifth skill so they have done a pretty good job 5 3 and 4 which are the main skill for thanos farmer uniform has been increased in hit count so they will do more damage as it goes which looks pretty amazing looking forward to testing the new thanos with all his might so thanos wise harvester can be purchased during the event period so they are definitely reselling the uniform angel tier 4 wings of mutant will when stagger skill is used 80% attack for 8 seconds decrease damage received from reflect effect by 100% reflect all attacks for 3 seconds as well as recovery of 10% of hp so basically 10% of hp means you know you get 10% every second for 7 seconds each so pretty good tier 4 uh considering the fact that he reaches the tier 4 before dying so we'll see about that black swan tier 3 skill queen's apocalypse we have fear silence incapacitation so as i said if she gets a tier 4 in the future she can replace mystique now she has with the tier 3 skill silence paralyze and burn all the alliance battle cancels needed to replace mystique from the meta we will see about that in invincibility she also has the 100% proc and 65% attack buff on that skill plus some extra damage from the tier 3 skill as well so i think she can be the candidate if she gets like a mid month tier 4 or something like that uh, satan i hellstorm potential awakening and transcendence hellstorm definitely not getting any form is sad but remembering the days when he came to the game he was one of the best free to play characters in the game for sherlands and everything and even for world bosses actually and now he's back maybe a future uniform but i'm definitely looking forward to the extra damage and it will be much easier it will make him much more stronger for uh, sherlands as well new world boss legend plus come on <laughs> you could have called it a super boss a super world boss or something like that that sounds better than legend plus uh okay so this is the new tier 4 only and we also have the world boss improvements first of all we have the difficulty 1 uh, after clearing the unlock challenge the requirements are you have to clear story 8 3 which is the showdown i suppose the new one own three or more tier 4 characters because you need at least three tier 4s to participate in this thing clear all world boss challenges all of them basically so you have to as you can see you have to do uh gene five times you have to do kang the conqueror five times gor five times and i think others as well i don't see others like my fisto and then so maybe they might have left them out you have to do only these three but we will see world boss stages above 10 every unlocked with specific challenges including those involving such heroes just like the other world boss legends so only difference is you can see you can only use tier 4 characters 
uh, and nothing else. The black swan's conquer level can be achieved up to 200 just like others. The conquer level effect can be upgraded along with acquiring Odin's blessing chest. Now mention should be on tier 3 growth material just like the others as well clear the new world was legend plus black sound of got a very rich world the mighty cdb of energy regeneration destruction judgment authority greed refinement and insight are included and you might get lucky to get one of those drops people do get mighty cdps from world boss legend although the drop rate is quite low so most people don't get them but it's pretty good if you get some extra cdp that's a plus when clearing world boss uh, and stuff ccf can be acquired at 100 percent rate just like the others and do we see any more world boss improvement so we have the titan record guarantee system so if you don't get rng drops from the world bosses whichever you play you have a pity timer so if you clear that particular world boss 10 times you are able to get that particular selector titan record from that world boss which is good at least it will make it slightly easy for people who are struggling to actually get the books because the book drop has been very bad in World Boss Legend. But that's uh, fine, I suppose. That's how it goes. The difficulty tab for the World Boss has been changed. This is good Ultimate and Legend. So you can basically just select those things. I hope it does not affect the rolling. Actually, I really hope that we can just roll the Legends only and they leave the Ultimates behind. So people who want to play Ultimate can play on the Ultimate and people who want to play on the Legend can play the Legend because it, it's a big gold sink if you get very unlucky with the rolling so i really hope that they actually fix it today's world boss is divided into difficulty levels ultimate and legend so agents can reset today's world boss or desired difficulty level that is good so you can change just the legend world bosses you will always get a legend world boss whichever you want to play this is fantastic thank you so much netmarble that saves us like a lot a lot of gold so do not change the world boss of the day after tonight's reset do it after the update it will be much easier for you and on your gold that is pretty good world boss legend difficulty first clear reward has been reset so you can get more chest and everything the reward for the first clearing difficulty legend difficulty will be reset after updating excluding black swan so do not play even a single world boss legend entry if you want to get some extra rewards starting from uh, right after the update unlock condition for null mephisto infinity ultron and god have been simplified so null you have to clear story three so this is basically to unlock world boss legends for you to play it doesn't defect the 100 100 percent uh, the 100 second and 150 second clears so it's just going to be slightly easier for you to play these world bosses for new and moderate players the balance of certain bosses of the world boss legend difficulty has been adjusted in infinity ultron and gore uh, patterns and lowering stats have been adjusted kang the conqueror the patterns basically were too long he was taking too much time consumption so it will be harder it will be much easier for you now to complete the hundred and i suppose the other challenges dark finish the patch pattern of the phase three also has been changed the gimmick and visibility of blade twister the story special effect and the world boss ability have been improved so that's good sometimes they were like it's hard to see with all the stuff going on on the screen when black uh, the blade twisters are there so that's good challenge record rankings will reset for the entire world boss and individual so i don't think it's actually make any sense because you don't get any extra rewards for the ranking so but still some people like to do that now coming uh, to the artifact part we have the will of the black swans we have superhero and supervillain type damage by 20 percent, just like jean gray so yeah she looks like a potential pve monster uh, in the future we will see about that now universe oh my god satana is gonna be a must-have for universal type characters, all attack by 20%, additional of 0.5% of total instinct. Also, 10% of damage dealt to boss type. So she becomes a very, very special character now. Now, it's not going to help a lot of players who are already capping with Jean Grey. But for certain seasons like this one, because Jean Grey is hard to cap on this shock season in Alliance Battle Legend, she gets very close. Now she's going to be much easier to cap on this one. And for people, who have been struggling to get the 12 million reward with Jean Grey with a mighty CTP might have a be better chance this one. Although yes, that does mean that you have to purchase the paywall uniform, but definitely it looks like the uniform and everything is going to be worthwhile compared to others that we have had over the years. Now we have the fire resist and fire uh, resist and damage increase for Hellstorm as well as damage increase to super villain types for 15%. So I like the artifacts. They are useful, totally PVE. 
and it's it's kind of really weird you know black swan right now is pvp angel is pvp thanos looks pvp satan is just pve support and all of the artifacts are totally pve based so they are doing a pvp update majority of them with pve stats <laughs> which is kind of insane exclusive passive skill has been improved so they have oh my this is the first they have improved thanos's artifact so this was the first one oh my god <laughs> they made thanos insane uh, previously it was one of the worst artifacts now it's one of the best she, he gets a jeans artifact plus bonus hp by 50% increase <laughs> that is insane this could literally make thanos amazing i might just tear for him right now this is the first time they have improved the artifact skill of a character they really want to sell out thanos and i really think that he might just come back to the pvp meta in the top 3 or top 5 and with the wise harvester even if you don't have the pvp uniform you might still be able to get better output damage output in certain content so i'm very happy with the update new future pass and special icons if you want to purchase all of this thing and then we have the march update new special icon satana looks beautiful thanos looks insane and black son with the skull i'm not sure who is the last one it's just black so i have no idea but this looks fantastic i'm loving the icons and everything they have done a great job at this wow other improvement and changes quick upgrade in the inventory iso it has been changed to upgrade all so you can just do that that's nice uh that's something you it might takes you some time to get used to it but it's nice for saving time the daily task must and will appear on the main lobby on the screen if there are achievement reward available for daily challenges you can challenges by dark so you can just press this you don't have to go to the menu then the challenges that saves you like one or two taps which is nice the function to batch craft story fragment has been added this is great this was needed you have you can basically just maximum if you have 300 200 100 saved up you can just use them all together and craft that is good agents can now set the clear amount of dimension mission manually up to 40 times that is good you can clear it like 20 times or 30 times depending on the energy and the boost point that you have right now we could only do 10 times per per roll which is actually also saving time convenience related to enhancing artifacts has been improved enhancement will repeat it until set level of uh, using an auto enhancement button so you can set level uh, how much you actually want and you can just like keep trying it uh the max chance whatever it is you can keep trying it until you get it it's going to be useful for people who actually spend a lot of essence on the artifact enhances which will be nice the displaying in standard of the in game notification mark red dot has improved agents can check the popularity ranking of the heroes when selecting a hero unix uh, okay you can just check them improvement are made to agent badges it will no longer allow selecting material to enhancing the agent level maximum level the maximum level of the agent level has been ex extended to 1999 hello love many <laughs> certain challenges in the path of the agents has been changed okay certain challenge in the shield academy has been changed and there are some game error fixes with the basics damage uh, carnage okay effect uh, carnage is kind of fixed right now the following that occurred connection with the cdb of conquest uh, it was probably not working and uh, spiderman tier 4 skill could not remove the alliance world lens penalty buff uh has been fixed but i don't know if alliance battle boss is actually needed for spider man they still haven't done anything for the loki bug and everything with the car orb disappearing same with the cable and not moving but still really good changes i like the update it's some really good changes for all the players uh overall world boss looks pretty nice it will be easier faster pvp update thanos looks totally buffed both the uniforms are going to be very useful for thanos it looks like if you want to wait for the anniversary for the 50% discount you can go for it but overall honestly i'm very happy with the update rest we will see when it drops angel is the only one not giving me the good vibes but otherwise the update looks very very good and player friendly in all the expect as it is right now do let me know what you think about the video do let me know what you think about the update patch details that we just had pretty bonkers pretty nice and i'm really looking forward to testing things out give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you already have not and as always if you do enjoy the content i hope to see you again take care i'll see you all in the next one take care